What's up? It's your boy Carcino here. And um, let's get into this because I think it needs to be discussed. Jermaine Taylor has shown you nothing but mental damage and a different in personality changes ever since he came back from his knockout loss to Arthur Abram. When he had the bleeding on the brain that should have ended his boxing career. I don't know who approved him to continue fighting. It is clearly night and day personality wise from one from one day to the next with Jermaine Taylor. His temper has increased. He's become more distant from people and he's more paranoid. And there's clearly some damage that taken place in those fights. When you have bleeding on your brain, um, you shouldn't even be allowed to box anymore. This man could go into a seizure. And I want to know how did he get approved to get back in the ring and continue fighting. I mean, at this point in his career, Jermaine Taylor, you should have amassed enough money to where you, your life is more important to you than getting back into the ring. Okay, because your behavior does not make any logical sense to anybody else in the world. You can't even explain the things that you're doing right now. And you need help. I don't think he needs to go to jail. I think he needs to be in a mental facility to where he can get the proper treatment for his brain damage. The man is suffering from brain damage. And I don't care how you try to dress it up. I don't care how many people you get to try to talk about it. The man is suffering badly and he's this is a cry for help somebody need to please help him out he don't need jail time he need a mental health facility and he does not need to be boxing anymore